Um, so, do you think you passed or failed? I think I, I think I passed. Did I pass? Hey guys, I hope you're all well. For any of you that are learning to drive, I would highly recommend downloading the Ultimate Driving Course. There are 38 easy to understand videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. Just watch the video before the driving lesson related to the topic you are covering on that day. This will provide you with the correct knowledge on that subject, which means you'll know exactly what to do. So you'll get into the car fully prepared, which will speed up learning. This will definitely save you time and money on driving lessons. The course is still available at the special offer one-off fee which gives you access to all of the videos for 12 months. And here is a short video review from someone who successfully passed their driving test using the ultimate driving course. Hello everyone, my name is Esther and I'm from Rugby. I don't know whether you can see that, but that's my certificate. Uh, I passed the driving test in February of this year, 2020. I was a subscriber on the DN, uh, DGN Driving School uh, YouTube channel. And that's how I got to know about this course and I bought it. Okay. Uh, before I passed my driving test, I had lacked confidence because uh, five years or more, I had failed and given up. <laughs> so now coming back after all those years, it was a big step. And this time I was heavily pregnant in February. And you all know that with a baby, you need the scale to go, to go by. And I was desperate, really desperate. So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. Yes, I remember my favorite, um, I think topics on there were meeting traffic. Yes, I had challenges in that. And then dual carriageways, yes. Um, another one was roundabout and adequate clearance. Yeah, anyway, all the, all the topics were really, really helpful. Yeah, so the course in its simplicity, um, I think that it summarizes everything we need to pass. So having passed, I feel great. And I know that um, we all, whatever age you are, whatever background you are, we all can achieve our goals if we are committed and don't give up. So, you know what, go for it. See you at the top. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we've got another mock test and today we have Paris. Paris, yeah? Yeah. And Paris, uh, she's not local, you come from Cheltenham. Cheltenham, yeah? Yeah. And uh, guys, for those of you who are watching for the first time, um, the learners that turn up here, they haven't had lessons for, uh, from me. And this is not a driving lesson, this is a mock test where I'm not going to help them out. And I'm just going to tell them of any faults that they've made at the end of the test. And you know how it works, so Paris, you've seen some of the videos. During the test, I do uh, cover the faults just before they're about to happen. Any serious faults are marked in red text, and any normal driving faults are marked in amber text, yeah. Okay, Paris, so... Um, Tell us a bit about your driving. How many lessons um, that you've had? So I've had about six uh, actual driving lessons with an instructor, and then lockdown happened. So throughout lockdown, I've been driving my own car for about an hour each day. Uh, okay. So, so you've only had six actual driving yeah. lessons. Yeah. Were one hour ones, two hour yeah, ones? Yeah, one hour. Yeah. So you've had six hours of driving lessons, but then you were driving with your mum, yeah, family member, yeah. whatever. Okay. Oh, sorry, you said your mum, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how do you feel now? Do you feel you, you ready for your test? You haven't got a test or anything booked, have you? No, I just wanted to see if I'd be ready for my test when the booking system opens again. Okay, cool. So you're, you 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 just want to see today that if you are ready for your yeah. test or you're not, or, or yeah. like what the areas of improvement. Yeah. Anything that you, that you feel that you don't feel too confident on when um, you're driving? Roundabouts, I'm a bit iffy on with the lanes and hesitation can be a bit of a problem. Okay, great, because Wolverhampton's got loads of roundabouts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, 
Um, have you done the show me tell me questions yet? No, I haven't really gone through any. Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave that out. But obviously, you know, for your test, you do yeah, need to yeah. go through them, yeah. Okay, yeah. and you can find them on the on our channel anyway, yeah. yeah. And uh, guys, any of you that uh, do want a mock test, look, I'm getting loads of requests. You can um, message me on Instagram or Snapchat, and I don't, I, I can't really reply back to every single message. Yeah, I do appreciate you guys contacting me, but I uh, just randomly uh, pick a lane of, of when I need someone for a mock test. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, Paris, yeah? yeah. We'll leave the show and tell me questions there. Eh? Okay. Whenever you're ready, if you could move up for me, please. Yeah. And guys, just to let you know, Paris hasn't driven this car before, so it's the first time driving this car, yeah? Yeah. And we're also following the sat nav, yeah? Have you yeah. followed the sat nav? No. You haven't followed the sat nav no, before? No, not yet. Okay, so that's something new for you as well. Now this is where Paris makes her first serious driving fault. And this is one of the most common driving faults made by linear drivers on the driving test according to official stats from the DVSA. Turn left, then take the second right. Turn left, then take the second right. The fault is on observations at a junction. The view at this junction is restricted, so we can't really see much of the main road as we reach the end. At a junction like this, you'll need to edge forward very slowly until you have a clear view and only emerge out when you're 100% sure that it's safe. Paris takes a quick look and emerges out. Unfortunately for her, there was a vehicle approaching. We caused that vehicle to slow down. <laughs> This right turn, Paris does well. She does everything in the correct order and approaches well. Turn right. roundabout, Paris signals a bit too early. There is a road on our right. She should have waited to pass that before applying the signal. Other than that, she does the roundabout really well. She enters well, stays in the correct lane and carries out good observations before exiting. Before joining this dual carriageway, Paris does check the mirrors. We do advise to take a quick sideways glance before joining the dual carriageway. And there were other vehicles around, so she should have applied a right signal. After 300 yards, turn right, then go right on the roundabout. Paris shows good judgement and observations when changing lanes. Right on the roundabout. After 100 yards, go right on the roundabout. Second exit. This roundabout, Paris does well. The roundabout, second exit. Now the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. Shortly Paris does pick up a serious driving fault for speeding.
At this roundabout, it's clear to enter, so Parry should leave it in gear two and continue. But she selects first gear. On this road, Paris reaches 25 miles per hour, which is a serious driving fault. As I mentioned earlier, the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. And for anyone that's wondering, the speed on the sat nav displays 1 to 2 miles per hour less than the actual speed. Sometimes during a lesson, us driving instructors were going to deep thought thinking about some life changing decisions, just as I'm doing here. I am thinking about what I should have for dinner tonight. Paris makes really good observations by checking the left mirror again when moving off at these lights. You should always be on the lookout for cyclists. Paris parks up in a good position and does good observations before moving off. Okay, and if you've got to move off when you're ready, please. It's important to check the mirrors before changing direction. For example, to overtake this parked vehicle, we will be moving to the right, so we should check it's safe to move over. Watch how well Paris checks the mirrors before and after overtaking the parked vehicle. And if you could park a video safe on the left, please. Again, Paris parks up well in a good position. Thank you. Uh, move off when you're ready. When moving off, it's quite busy, so it's important to pick a safe gap. Paris shows good judgment when choosing a safe gap, but doesn't check the right blind spot before moving off. On this dual carriageway, Paris makes good progress. When the road is clear and safe, then you shouldn't be too slow in building up your speed. Okay, we're going to move to a roundabout soon, yeah? And at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right to the second exit. Okay. If we look at the road markings, we can use both of these lanes to turn right at this roundabout. Selecting the left lane out of the two would be beneficial as then you wouldn't need to change lanes when exiting the roundabout and will be positioned in the left lane. Paris selects the right hand lane and the way she deals with the roundabout is fine. After entering the roundabout, she does good observations before moving over to the left lane. safe 
on the left please. When parking up, Paris touches the curb. Thank you and move off when you're ready. When turning right, Paris positions well when waiting for the oncoming traffic. Now I'm going to ask Paris to do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre and she does make a serious driving fault whilst doing this. And if you could do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre using that green car, car. In, yeah, yeah, using the green car in front, yeah? yeah? So you know what to do on this? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Paris shows good control and maintains a good speed throughout. She starts off with good observations, but doesn't check the right blind spot as the front of our vehicle swings out. Remember that when you carry out any reversing manoeuvre, you must check the blind spot area before your vehicle swings out, as that is the point where most danger is caused. This manoeuvre should be done within two car lengths, which means that the maximum gap between the front of your vehicle and the back of the parked vehicle should be one car length. Paris reverses too much. And move off please when you're ready. At the end of the road, turn left. Paris does well when dealing with these cyclists. She keeps a safe distance and doesn't get too close. Paris approaches and enters this roundabout well. She also carries out good observations before exiting the roundabout. The timing of her left signal was slightly too early. If you're taking the third exit, then the correct time to signal is when you just pass the second exit. Applying the signal too early could mislead other road users into thinking that you're taking the second exit. Here now Paris shows really good forward planning and awareness by noticing the cyclists and overtaking in good time. On the approach to this roundabout, there is a lorry to our right obstructing our view. In a situation like this, only enter the roundabout when you're certain it's safe and clear. Don't just move off because the vehicle next to you has. 
Remember that most vehicles will move off a lot quicker than you will and some drivers may not even choose a safe gap. Straight ahead, third exit, please. Yeah. On the approach to this roundabout, Paris notices the road markings and uses the correct lane to go straight ahead. But as she enters the roundabout, she drifts slightly into the right hand lane. This roundabout, Paris starts off in the left hand lane, so she should stay in the left lane, but after entering, she moves over into the middle lane. She did check the mirrors before changing lanes, and luckily for her, this middle lane can be used for our intended exit, so this wasn't a serious driving fault. We discussed this more during the feedback at the end of the test. this roundabout, Paris was very close to picking up a serious driving fault. As she entered the roundabout, she drifts slightly over into the middle lane but then corrects her position. If there was a vehicle in the middle lane, then this would have been a serious driving fault. You can see that I was about to react but there was no need for my heroics on this occasion. As the lights turn green, Paris gets a bit too close to the vehicle in front. Cutting across the path of oncoming traffic is a high risk situation and requires good assessment. Paris shows good judgement when turning right and chooses a safe gap. And now we are back at the test centre. Paris thinks that she has passed. I have to tell her that she hasn't. And if she could park up on the left way please. Okay. So how do you think that went Paris? I don't think I made any ma like, uh, major faults, I don't think, but I noticed a few like when I was going around the roundabout you nearly had to tell me to keep to my lane. Um, uh, you nearly had to, yeah, but yeah. I didn't have to, yeah, so you saved that one, yeah? Okay. Um, I uh, hit the curb as well once when I pulled up on the left. Yeah, it wasn't that serious, it wasn't that hard, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah so that wouldn't be a serious, so apart from that. Um, so. Do you think you passed or failed? I think I, I think I passed. Did I pass? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's very close. Okay. Your driving standard is really, really good. Thank you. Yeah, for having just six hours with an instructor, and then you've just been having lessons with your mum. Yeah, just drive around like my local to the shop or whatever, and then. Oh, okay, like you said, you had um, issues with roundabouts, hesitation, and that. 
there were many issues with roundabouts. You were good at entering them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And one of the roundabouts when you said, oh, I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. If you're ever in a situation like that, what's the safest thing to do? Just stay there until the lorry moves away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Try and look through the gaps. Yeah. Right, um, through the lorry and that and if you can't see then don't if it's like a massive lorry moving slowly then fair enough that wasn't a really big lorry yeah okay, okay. Yeah. so um, yeah and uh, as soon as you enter the roundabout you, you're like where am I going is it that one or yeah. that one like you know earlier on when you asked me before we got to the roundabout is it second exit is it third exit I don't know what you said but that, that's good ask beforehand yeah even when you test you don't be afraid to ask the examiner yeah, yeah. but don't ask when you've entered the roundabout that's too late <laughs> Yeah. yeah, because if if I did say we're taking the first exit, you hadn't signal left anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so that and I, like you mentioned at one point, I, I had to, well, almost I was about to say to you keep to the left, but you, put yeah. it in. You went slightly into that lane, but there was no one there. Yeah. Okay. And um, on another day, that could have been a serious fault, but in in this uh, this occasion, it wasn't. Yeah. And um, so I'm talking about the nearly serious faults and one of the roundabouts. We're going straight ahead, third exit, yeah. So you started off in the left lane, you entered the roundabout, and then you shifted over to the middle lane. Yeah. Yeah, but you did check your mirrors before doing that. It wasn't, if, you, if you'd just gone over there checking your mirrors, that would have been a serious fault. Yeah. You didn't cause any danger, and then, because that lane we can use for that same exit as well, yeah. but then you moved back over to the left. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so just when you, or if you start off in the left lane, stick to it. Okay. Yeah, don't move over. Yeah. Over to that lane, but like you said, your mirror saved you there. Yeah, okay. The serious faults now. Yeah, um, the first one, you know, when you left the test center here, yeah, yeah. So, what, what's our view like when we're leaving the test center when we're entering the main road? Was it quite clear? Or was it obstructed? I thought it was clear, was it not? So the view was obstructed by the wall, yeah. So you, oh, you, you so, yeah. so you had a glance and it seemed clear, yeah. But we couldn't see too far down the road, could we? No. Yeah, so you took the decision to go. Yeah. yeah we should have done it at a junction like that where you can't see, yeah. Stop and then creep forward. Okay. Yeah, so you get a better view. Yeah. Make sure you can see further down the road than we could, yeah. And there was red car speeding. Yeah, as soon as you enter the road, yeah. Um, uh, you did look in your mirror. Did you notice that the red car had to slow down for us? No. Uh, Okay, so that it would it, it is a little bit harsh, but it would have been a serious or because you can't enter old and slow the vehicles down, yeah, even if fine. they're speeding. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you know, and, and your your observation that the other junctions are really good. Yeah. Yeah. But there, just when leaving, um, you could have observed a bit better there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then um, the other one, when you're following the sat nav, um, there was this road with speed humps. Yeah. This is towards the start. And the speed limit on that road, did you notice what the speed limit was? 20. It was 20. Was I speeding? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, at one point, like, uh, most of the time you're doing about 23, which was okay, not that bad, yeah? yeah. Okay, which um, I would have let you off with. But then at one point you did, you did reach about 25, 26. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But then you did bring it down, but that would be a serious fault, yeah, for doing yeah. that speed on a, on a 20. Okay. Yeah? You understand yeah. that one, yeah? And then... Um, with your manoeuvre, so yeah, you had to readjust, yeah. no, no big issue, yeah, yeah, no big issue, but you know when um, you start steering to the left, yeah, yeah, what, your, your car swings out, yeah, yeah, okay, so you should be checking the right blind spot thoroughly, yeah, okay. so what you did was, just before you started, you checked your blind spot, but then as your car was swinging out, you, you, you didn't check it again, yeah, there wasn't no danger, and I was thinking, okay, she, you, like, you did check it just as you moved, yeah, and you started steering straight away, yeah. So that was kind of counted as a check, yeah. But then, you know, when you had to readjust, you had to bring it in again so your car swung out again. Okay. You didn't You didn't check it? Yeah. Okay, you didn't check the right blind spot. Okay. You were checking out of here, yeah. But remember, that area you can't see in your mirrors, yeah, of your right blind spot. Yeah. So, yeah, it was uh, just uh, those three. Okay. Yeah. That's not as bad as I thought, actually. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like, you're... Uh, I've got no doubt that your your, your passion driving test, yeah. Like we did loads of roundabouts today, yeah. And there weren't um, there weren't any major issues with your roundabouts, yeah. Just remember to stick to your lane. Um, the other thing I would say, you know, when you're moving off, yeah. What's a final check you should do just before moving off? Mirrors. No. The right blind spot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So again, when I ask you to move off, you like check, check, good, yeah. But then. When you have to wait for a while, you wouldn't check it again just before moving off. Okay. Just, be, just be careful of that because the situation 
uh, can change yeah. yeah okay and yeah the rest of the faults at one point you did get gear one when you could have just gone in gear two at one of the mini roundabouts um but there's a few more which you can see back in the video yeah yeah but like i said overall really good Thank yeah you. it's very close to a pass okay <laughs> very close and yeah. these, these faults could have easily been avoided yeah yeah easily yeah. okay but obviously you're not going to make them on your actual test now yeah yeah so when the um booking system reopens it should be quite soon now yeah get, okay. your, get your test booked okay yeah get yeah. your test booked yeah okay just keep practicing with yeah. whoever you're practicing you said i think you said your mom yeah 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 and it's uh it's working yeah thank you're doing you. well thank you thanks a lot for coming all this way to uh do the mock test that's okay thank okay. you for having me thanks hopefully it's helped you out and guys like always don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video